Come on. <laughs> stop quitting. No, see, I can do the same thing. I got beard. Yeah, stop quitting. <laughs> and she just wants to hold him. No, I was looking I was looking at even their 12 inch log. It's gonna be 1200 bucks. Yeah, I have one. I need one. It's not for sale. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> oh I just see that barbell. I just want to go lift it. Which one? <laughs> oh, oh you do not. It says do not you. Do not <laughs> Look at that. No, they've got, they've got a, a little... One day I'll be able to press that weight. Missed it? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You see the grocery store in China when they have to do the circus balls there? Boing, boing. They make it sound when they say press it. Yeah. Very nice. So is this... How much? How much? How much? It's so long, oh, too. Oh, this is the one arm. was given the honor to break the 85 year old record. Okay, so where are we today? We're actually at the Rogue Warehouse uh, facility in Columbus, Ohio. Like, I've seen pictures of this place before and I thought it was just a brick building, but it's like <clears throat> massive. It's it's a massive property here. So like, there's a lot of equipment here. So they got like the Louis Sear dumbbell. This cool Rigu, I don't know how to pronounce it, Rigalu bar. Yeah. Pretty cool pieces of history here and just everything fitness related that you could want. Any kind of plate, rack, you name it, all the toys are here. I wish I could get like into the back, but Well we'll go take a look around the we'll show everyone what it looks like here inside on the retail end. So. Yeah. <laughs> you get the dumbbell, that's so cool. Yeah I did, yeah. It's like I mean I can't get any of the stuff but <laughs> No, and your SPD is way better. It so. is. Yeah. It's oh man, it's so cool back there. Like they had. Well, do you want to go take a look? You can't take any cameras or pictures. You can't take any cameras. Oh my God, they're so cute. <laughs> well, I'll show you. Let's take a look. That's what it is. Mm hmm. But this one you can do <clears throat> the rope like they have record breakers with this implement. <clears throat> so what did what did you get Brad? Same one. Same, Sa one. same thing. <clears throat> yeah. Manufacturing with them. Mm. And what is that? Oh it's, it's like a rope. A, like a chest supported rope. Yeah. Oh, but really? it's an attachment. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Oh well, that's not bad. We have something like that at the gym. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's it. That's I like this was. pad. Holy and I like fuck. this. Okay, okay, okay. Enough. <laughs> I'm competing too much. back so good. <laughs> yeah. That's way yeah. too big. That's not as bad. The steel one was higher. Yeah, I think it's a little taller. It's like, close. Like, yeah. But service is the better one. Service is still what are you supposed to do with that? Well, load it over bar like I did. <laughs> oh my but god. I, <laughs> I like it. That's You've like what? It's a paper. You've never seen a what? Like one and a quarter kilo plate. Oh, look at it. It's so small. <laughs> hey man, here, here. Jesus, 175? That's a, that's a big power block. 
Do you guys know the convention hall is that there? Uh, like by the statue if that's the statue. Okay, yeah, perfect. That okay. <laughs> yeah. Is this in the same spot it was last year? Yeah. Is this so good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. I got you another know text, but I don't think you're done with it. Oh, I'll, I'll go a little quicker. I'll take it. Fuck that guy. <laughs> 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 you want a little water, sir? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how long this restaurant is. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll. So we're at the rules meeting. We're just about to have the rules meeting now. So this is where we get to see all the other guys, all the competition, all the weight classes. So yeah, probably can. We we'll probably film it, but it's nothing really cool. No, I won't film it because it'll be probably very long. Yeah. But where did we go for supper? Oh, we went to this um, club. I don't know, Baca, some Italian place, and like the portion sizes were like unbelievable. Yeah. The strongman size portions. Yeah. <laughs> Rice Krispie squares? Yeah. Like yeah. water? Like I don't have any water. Yeah, we can get some. From where? Well, I don't really want Uber to go over there's that convenience store, remember, like when we went, it's just down this strip, it's a little bit out of the way. Yeah. Right. I'm guessing it was, yeah, I don't know why they're like that, though. That's maybe how they transported them? Yeah. It's weird. Feels a lot better than what they're training on. This is what happens We're when you hang out with uh, hey, pro strongman James Josh Jeffers. He gets you into these places that you never thought you'd ever be allowed to. <laughs> I it's just it's crazy. He's got connections. I mean, and then the this average is what it's red like. strong man just shows yeah. up for no apparent reason. I don't belong here. <laughs> but this is, is this what it's like to be a celebrity? Yeah. Like, is this what you do? Is this the treatment you get all the time? I'm, I'm on TV on the pro strongman James Jeffers YouTube channel. Like, this is by far amazing. This is just a, it's just a glimpse. Oh. Yeah. I can't even imagine what it's like. This is just gonna cut this stuff out after pulls out. Not worthy. Yeah. Not worthy. <laughs> tag is over yeah, there. Yeah, that ultimate tag. Yeah. yeah. There's a, well, there's only the tags. It's like slap fight and whatever else here too, right? Yes, there's slap fighting. Yeah. Yeah, we still go get rice krispies. Like if it's only 40 feet, I hope it's fucking heavy. Well, maybe. That's gonna be like 20 seconds. Those are those, huh? And it's gonna be the most comfy 175 you've ever put your chest. Yeah. From a tattoo. I don't know. You probably won't need it with that. You don't think so? Yeah, well, if you're used to spreading, yeah. you're literally gonna be hooked in. Yeah, you know, there's two handles in the yeah. bottom. It, it's, it's surprisingly comfy to okay. pull. So, this is the guy that makes all of the equipment that we're gonna be using. Oh, hey. I'm, yeah. We're, we're I, friends. I make wrist hey. I'm James. Look at you. David, I'm Kim. I Kim. used uh, the 100 pound plates last year. They were pretty cool. Well, thank you. That was, that was a fun project. Yeah. yeah. I got the hydrants right there, so you'll, you'll, the, you'll be using the big pump. And that's. 265 empty, or do you have to? 225 empty, there'll be uh, 25 and 210s under okay. here, or a 10 to get to the weight we need. And for the Rusa fell, those are. Under the blanket right there. Uh, uh, we were in Iceland last year and we got to. It was. I was awesome. at the Magnus Classic and we used the real one. the real one there. Yeah. The real one, so. Well, it should feel pretty familiar. That's I, cool. I yeah, go ahead. Look the inch. I was going to say that, yeah. I had to make some mo modification on the edges because there's some undercuts that I couldn't do with a true concrete mold that would get stuck. Yeah. So the edges are a little flatter, but the, the face and, the, and the, the back of it are to the this exact... Little, this little group saved me like 50 meters because I had it on my chest and then it slipped and then it caught the lip and I was walking with like my biceps. Yeah. Jesus. Bruno was like, you got some pretty strong biceps because I was just <laughs> holding it in like this. Yeah. All that T-Rex in it. Yeah. yeah. And then the, the bass stone behind it was in the pit. I, I, I painted it with a uh, truck bed liner so it'd have some rough because I. A little bit of grip? I poured it. too smooth. I eh? poured it. Right. Weird saying it out loud. I poured it too well. Like, there was not a bubble on the side of it. it oh was my flat god. And flush. <laughs> so I had to sand it and it was still too smooth. So I had to spray it with bed liner so it'd have some grip for your yeah. hand and skin to get off. That's awesome. And obviously, you, so you've picked it. Oh yeah. I, I got them here. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how, I had much, to how much fun them. was that? Like, how. Uh, I mean, did you like try to like the traditional way? How they? I, I got that the shoulder for three in a minute, but there was no way I had to lay down for about twenty minutes after. 
and like I had just now recovered the neck bruises. Yeah, they have oh. they have padded vests. Their quads are padded. Their their groins, and then yeah, they have they a, wear a, like, neck, a neck uh, raised up so that yeah. none of their body actually touches the stone. Yeah, yeah. they're wearing almost like body armor. You have to, especially oh. at 500, 600 pounds on your shoulder, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. Leather's not doing much, but it's just making sure you don't bleed. Yeah. Yeah. Today, I mean, we did some running around. Went to the Rogue Warehouse. Um, we did a lot. I guess from there we went to the check-in, check-in, athlete check-in, got my shirt, um, then went back to the back, back to the B&B here, just relaxed for a bit until 7 o'clock, then there was a rules meeting, pretty straightforward rules meeting, nothing over the ordinary, a um, couple of weight changes, not quite what they said it might be, um, <clears throat> arm over arm is a little bit shorter, so it might be a little heavier, but that's just strong, man, things change last minute and you just have to deal with it and just uh, roll with the punches and be able to figure it out. So that was that. Then we went and checked the venue out a little bit. Um, we weren't allowed in there for too long, but looked at things, um, got to see some of the implements for the odd object load and then uh, just came back, got some snacks, groceries, more stuff for hydration and um, carbohydrate refeed, and then get a good night's sleep and then head there first thing in the morning. We don't compete till two, but our athlete warm up is at like 12.30 for the first event, but the pro men and women start at 10 or 10.30, so we're gonna be there early, you know, cheer on um, Mel and all the other pro women and pro men and uh, see how they do. It's gonna be awesome to see. And then uh, we start our day with farmers, which is pretty good, so. Okay, so subscribe, comment, like. <laughs> Stay tuned for tomorrow. Stay tuned for tomorrow, yeah. Keelan doing a bang up job, um, releasing these videos as they come. So um, I might not be as vocal because she's gonna be filming me doing all the events, so. Yeah. Um, I also will say for people that are tuning in to watch the vlogs, um, I am going to be scheduling them a little bit later. So say around four o'clock central standard time, which is four o'clock Saskatchewan time. Um, Probably later, my first event, we don't finish till Yeah, seven. but I'm technically but, a day behind. Oh, so okay. today we'll go up tomorrow yeah, type yeah, thing. Yeah, so yeah. won't the, the vlogs essentially won't be up until around four o'clock. Just so everyone's kind of aware, um, just because we are doing so much during the day, I, I'm prioritizing editing later in the evening. So yeah. So yeah, you can expect it to be up by then. And uh, that's the end of day two. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Day one. Day two. Yesterday was day one, because we were traveling. Sure. So end of day two, and we will see you guys tomorrow for day three.